Hi Anna. Hello Horace, how are you today? Well, I've got a really big question. Ooh, tell us your question. The thing is, it's really big. Ooh, that's okay. You can tell us. It's big, big. <laughs> okay. Come on, Horace, tell us your question. Okay, so at home, I've got my favourite toy and somebody told me that I could use my toy to praise God. But how do I do that? Ooh, let's just think about that. Got it. What? You could share it. Oh wow! What, what a good idea! Will that be praising God? Yeah! Wow! I nearly missed an opportunity to praise God by sharing my toy. I know. What a good idea! And that reminds me of a story in the Bible about a little girl that nearly missed her chance to praise God. Wow! Yeah. Would you like to hear about I would, it? Yeah. Okay. Over to Faith Bear. Hello, Faith Bear. What window is the story through today? Is it the square window? The circle window? Or is it the arched window? wants us to praise him with everything we've got. This is a story of a man named Jairus and that's exactly what he did. Everywhere that Jesus went sick people came to him because they knew he cared for them and could help them. One day a man named Jairus came running to Jesus. Help! Please help me! he shouted. My little girl is very sick and I know that you can help her and make her well again. Jesus told Jairus, I'll go with you to your house then. It was going to be a long walk and there were crowds and crowds of people to get through. As they had come to see Jesus, they'd all come to see Jesus. Then a message came to Jairus, it's too late. Your little girl has died. Jesus looked at Jairus' very sad face and said, Don't be afraid, just trust me. When they arrived at Jairus' house, there were lots of people crying. They were all very sad because Jairus' daughter had died. But Jesus just looked at them and said, She's not dead, she's only asleep. Suddenly, those tears that people were crying turned to anger. Sleeping, people shouted. We've seen her. She's definitely dead. Jesus didn't listen, but went straight into the little girl's room. He went with her mum and dad and his friends, Peter, James and John. Jesus then sat on the little girl's bed and held her hand. Little girl, get up. He said quietly. Then her eyes opened wide as if she'd just woken up. <sighs> I'm hungry, she said. Jesus laughed and said, give her something to eat. Jairus was so happy that his little girl was alive again. He wanted to praise God with everything that he had. Wow, what a story. What an amazing thing that Jesus did that day. But did you know that we can praise God with everything that we have every day for the things 
Jesus does. He makes the sunshine. He causes the flowers to grow and open. He gives us our friends and family. There is so much to praise God for. Why don't you see how many things that you can praise God for this week? See you soon. Bye. Oh, mum, that meal is amazing. Oh, thank you, my dear. You know, that's the way I praise God by cooking you your meal. And you know what? In the Bible, it says, say a great big thank you to God. He is so good to us. His love never runs out. And that's in Psalm 136 verse 1. Wow, Mum, you really did praise God. Say a great big thank you to God, he's so good to us. His love never runs out. Psalm 136 verse 1. Say a great big thank you to God, he's so good to us. His love never runs out.
So remember children, all these different ways we can praise God and sometimes we might have to think about new ways, but there's so much choice. Are you up for the challenge this week to praise God in new ways? I am. Me too. Well, it's been great fun and we'll see you next time.